Hello YouTube. Uh, today I had to put my engine to top dead center, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to make a short and sweet video on uh, how to do that. And it's a pretty standard procedure when you want to uh, do certain settings to your engine. Um, you gotta put your engine on top dead center, and what that means is the the piston in number number one cylinder. Uh, has to be all the way up and all the valves has to be closed and how you do this on an engine that's already in a car without taking a bunch of stuff apart is uh, well what I like to do is take all the spark plugs out because then uh, that way it's, uh, it relieves all the compression out of the engine so it's easier to turn the crankshaft by hand <coughs> and uh, before you do that, obviously you have to unplug all your spark plug wires and mine are already marked and numbered from uh, the factory, so I didn't have to do that but if yours aren't, make sure that uh, you use some masking tape or something like that like to wrap around the wires and mark the numbers because uh, you gotta make sure you put them back in, in the exact same order and same exact holes that they were in before so that your engine can fire properly and uh, work again after you're done because otherwise you're gonna have another, another problem there and uh, yeah so basically you take the spark plugs out so that uh, all the compression is uh, relieved and uh, you gotta find the timing pin and a timing mark on your crankshaft pulley now this is a, a Nissan 240SX KA24DE engine so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on that type of engine so I marked the top dead center mark on my pulley down there for you guys so this is a timing pin this is on the front cover of the, the engine and this is the crankshaft pulley and there's the top dead center mark I marked it in white so you can see easier there then you're gonna have a bunch of those indentations on the pulley so the top dead center is zero degrees then after that you got five degrees 10 15 and 20 degrees advanced so this is what the top dead center looks like on the crankshaft pulley and now just a word of advice there is two different top dead center cycles on an engine so you have the compression stroke and you have the exhaust stroke so when you want to do top dead center you want to be on the compression stroke so that means all the valves have to be closed and how do you know that if you like have the valve cover on and you can't see the camshafts like the position of the camshafts and everything one way to tell is uh, I'll take that rod out and I'll explain what I'm doing with this afterwards so what I do is I put my finger like that right in the hole so that way when I turn the crankshaft the piston is gonna come up and it'll shoot air out of the hole and then when I have my finger inside like this I'll feel the air coming out trying to push my finger out of the hole it'll make like a farting sound or something so that way I know that all the valves are closed because otherwise if it would be on exhaust stroke the exhaust valves would be open and the air would be coming out of there and going out down the exhaust manifold here <coughs> so when you're on compression stroke the air can only come out of the spark plug hole so that's one way to tell that you're on compression stroke and then what I do with this rod here this is a magnetic rod to like pick stuff off the floor you put the rod inside the spark plug hole so that it rests on top of the piston and then when you turn your crankshaft the rods obviously gonna move with the movement of the piston so when the pistons all the way up the rods gonna stop moving and then if you keep turning the crankshaft it's gonna start going down again and that means your pistons coming down and then you've gone too far so just gotta back it out so that the rod stops moving and then that way you know your pistons all the way up 
So when you know you're on compression stroke, and when you know your piston's all the way up, you go back down there, double check your timing mark. I lost my light here. Well, there we go. Okay, so when you know you're on compression stroke and your piston's all the way up, go back down to your timing mark, make sure it's aligned properly. It could be off by just a tiny little bit and then you just like realign it just to make sure you're right on there. So, that's a simple way to adjust top dead center with an engine that's already in your car and then you basically don't want to take the valve cover off and front cover and everything just to see the, the camshaft and cam gear positions and whatnot. This is obviously a better way like to see that you're completely right on top, top dead center but if you don't want to take apart everything this is a simple way to do it so I hope this helps anybody with this procedure if you weren't familiar with it uh, if you have any questions uh, you can post them in the comments and then I'll make my I do, I'll do my best to uh, answer any of the questions you may have and again this is on a a 93 Nissan 240SX K824DE engine. Um, it's a fairly standard procedure for most engines out there. So, I mean, double check with your factory service manual to make sure that uh, this is the proper procedure, but it should be the same. And uh, since this is a rear wheel drive engine, the front of the engine is facing front of the car directly. If it's a front wheel drive engine, the front of the engine is going to be facing either right side or the left side of your car so but the front of the engine is always the well again I'm not an expert oriented on every brand out there but the front of the engine is usually the part that has the pulleys and belts and uh, coolant intake and all that stuff so number one cylinder is always the one that's closest to the front of the engine so this is a number one then you got number two number three and number four all the way at the back but when you do top dead center you you, you only have to care about number one all right so again hope this helps and uh, like and subscribe and uh, ask any questions you may have and then I'll do my best to answer them Alrighty, thank you have a good day